מועדים לשמחה על גוט מועד. בעזרת השם, על שביעי של פסח, אנחנו going to read פרשת בשלח, in ספר שמות, most of the parasha. It's talking about בני ישראל, when they're leaving מצרים, פרעה is running after them. They're all nervous, they're all upset, and משה רבנו goes and tells them, please calm down. אדוני ילחם לכם, ואתם תחרישון. Hashem will wage battle for you, and you will be silent. There's a wonderful pirush from Rabbi Liao Shrem in his Sefer Pe Liao. He says, what does Adonai Yilachem Lachem, Hashem will fight for you? Is if you are taharishun, if you are quiet in the Beta Knesset, when the time of prayers are, Rabbono Sha'olam will be your best advocate. He will fight every single thing that needs to be done for you. Then we come to where we come to the beautiful ocean. B'nai Yisrael are scared and frightened. And Nachshon ben Aminadav goes inside first. Moshe Rabbeinu picks up his stick. And it goes and it separates into beautiful, beautiful ways. Twelve separate ways for each Shevet. The floor is like marble. The walls are like crystal. Anything that was needed, a child needed a ball. You took a rimon, you took a, a pomegranate, and the kid was able to play ball. Everything was there. There was drinks out of there, cold water, hot tea. Everything was coming out of this Kriyat Yamsuf, the great miracle. B'nai Yisrael, at that moment, received Bizat Hayam, the bounty of the sea. The Haggadah tells us that the bounty of the sea was even greater than Bizat Mitzrayim, than the bounty that they received in Mitzrayim, because what they got, the wealth and spoils that they received in Mitzrayim, was only from their houses of people. But the money and the spoils that they received by Kriyat Yamsuf, by Yamsuf, was what? Was what it was in Betes Surahot, what was in Fort Knox of Egypt. Rav Gifter tells us, what is Moed? Moed is based on the word Vahad, to get together. He says every single holiday, according to when it falls out, that is the luck of that time. For instance, we, we don't go to court in the month of Av, but the month of Adar, we go to court. We try to, we shouldn't go to court, but we go to whatever we have to fight. That is the time when our mazal is powerful. On this day of Shvi'i Shal Pesach, on the day of Shvi'i Shal Pesach, it's a time to ask Rabbono Sha'olam for Bizat Hayam, for Parnasat Tova, for Hatzlacha with your children, to have all the good things, Bezat Hashem. The reading of the second days of Yom Tov, on the eighth day of Pesach, is in Sefer Devarim, Parshat Re'eh, towards Hamishi. We're very lucky in the United States. In Eretz Israel, everything goes quick. So they're able to do everything in one day. But Baruch Hashem, Rabbono Shalom understands that an American and somebody in Chutz Laaretz really needs a lot more. Our expenses are higher, our taxes are higher, everything is higher. So we need more days of Barachah that will give it to us. In the reading of the eighth day of Pesach, we start with Aser Ta'aser, that a person should tithe what they have, their grains and their fruits, because that brings Barachah to people. Then it tells us all different types of halachot in grains, in evid, and then it starts telling us about the holidays. At the end of the reading, there is a wonderful pasuk. It says, <clears throat> Shivat yamim tahog Seven days you should celebrate for Hashem your God. In the place that Hashem is going to choose, Hashem will bless you. In all your grains, and every endeavor that you will do. And you should always be happy. And you will only be happy. There's a halacha in the Shulchan Aruch. It's based on a Rabbeinu Yonah, who brings it from the Go'onim, who base it on a Gemara Barachot Dav Dalit. 
פותח את ידיך איזה פסוק that a person has to have כוונה. A person has to understand what they're saying and have deeper thoughts in it. This is a פסוק that brings the פרנסה to the world. So in some סידורים you will find the כוונה to have פותח את ידיך, the acronym of those words, of those words, פותח is פה, את is אלף, ידיך is יוד. And then to have the end letters, which is פותח, the end letter is חט, את, the end letter is תף, ידיך, the end letter is חף. So that name, חט, תף, and the letter חף, is one of the שמות that bring פרנסה to a person. So the Baal Shem Tov tells us that the Hatzlacha of a person, the way that a person could be successful in every single endeavor, is hidden in the word Vahayita Ach Sameach. If you look at the end letters of Vahayita Ach Sameach, is also the letter Het, which you find by Sameach, the, also the letter Taf, where you find Vahayita, and also the letter Chav by Ach. So we have that Shem again. We have that holy name again. He says, of a person is happy, of a person is joyful with the mitzvot in ma'asim tovim that he does, with what Rabban Sholam gave him, with his lot in this world. When a person has happiness, he's guaranteed success. So Be'ezat Hashem may this Hag bring upon us happiness and joy and much success Be'ezat Hashem. 